Okay, welcome to another basic tutorial for Cinoverse 2 mods. This time I will do a tutorial on how to recolor uh, effects of movesets or effects of skills. The process is like the same, but I want to show you how I do in, in skills and in movesets. I mean, it's the same process, but I want to show both options. So I created here a, a folder with the things. I have a blue Kamehameha and a Rosé Goku black moveset. First of all, I will uh, put the moveset in my Zim character and I will install this Kamehameha. And so I will start the game and we see that all is like okay as you see we have the the goku black oh what why it's green i have my my moveset like my edits i don't know but as you see well it's it's green somehow for some reason so and I have like the blue Kamehameha it's a basic Kamehameha but turn it into an X2M so I will start with the moveset for example if I want the Keyblade and that slash suspect that trail to be another color so we have the moveset the VFX you open it with EPK organizer and do it like this or you can open the program for import uh, an effect from a character you can go to import import effects and a character search for Rosé Goku Black and import all the effects and now the colors are like rosy, like the original, not green. So, if you want to change all the effects to one color, it's it's simple. You go to Tool and go to Hue Sets, and for example, I will change it to uh, an an sky blue. And now the program. Has changed it like all the textures or the effects to light blue. You can go uh, texture by texture and hue adjustment and put the color you want. This is the trail, for example. You want to to have the trail like more accurate. So I put like SK blue and to fix this problem you can just put here we set and it's like a fix it's it's very weird how the, the program works but you can do this to fix some problems because you can't put the darker color or <coughs> or change it like very free free way so how to use the two options to to keep the 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 the, the things <laughs> correct so after that put this and put the color you want it's weird sometimes it doesn't work but it's something so that's for all the effects you see that you want to the demo and it's changed it and if you put here hue achievement, you see that is sky blue. And that's the simple way. If you want to change some things, not all the, the, the moveset effects, you have to go to effect by effect and change what you what you want. But there is a a thing complicated thing that is you have to go to the back 
and see the effect entries so this is the light one light combo one you have the effect okay goku black in the first five punches doesn't use a keyblade so here this is the heavy combo one you see that it's five and 13 13 is the trail is the the slash so <clears throat> five is the sword the keyblade so you see that it's using the aura that is the in this case is the black aura in this in the keyblade so you can change in a separate separate ways so you can do magic you save us and you go to bfx bfx sim in my case and replace so now you reset the game or the match only you don't have to to close the game to edit movesets you will see that the all the moveset is changed to to a sky blue color keyblade the the key and the the trace effects so it's simple as this as you see the the trail effect is like more blue than sky blue so is that effect so i think that's all if you want like i said you have to to see what effects you want to change it uses different blades in his moves like the one is a keyblade the two is a keyblade the three the four so you have to change <coughs> in all the things you want or in this case you have to change only one because they are using the same emo for example so once you change the emo color it will change in all the effects because it's using the the same but in this in this case the the aura it's different it's aura ll aura ss it's i think it's different size so I think that, that's all. So for the skill, for example, we close this. We go to the skill. We open it with the skill creator. And here it will be like, I don't know, what color I can put, like orange, for example. It will be orange have to change here too and I think nothing more so you put the orange and you create a copy so now we we will work with orange open with Rinrar I don't know why I have in like Russian language I don't know how to change it because I don't understand uh, Russian so we take the skill part we close it and here you have the skill extract so open the apk and here you can see that all the effects are blue of the the original kamehameha these things if you put like hue juice you will see that it's he have see his colors so again you can put here is set i said orange i will make an yellow orange you can choose more with this option you can do it darker or black something something i have to say about the black you are like removing the likeness so 
some skills effects will disappear if you put black it's a shame because it's it's not like you are putting like a color but i had so much problems with this putting like a skill in the moveset or something and put in the likeness black saturation and some skills some textures will be will disappear it happens with uh, savage strike for example and it's a shame it would be cool if you can paint another thing if you put hue set you can't put white or black so that colors are more like difficult you have to do it a little manually you can put this to put in white but if you see you have to still recolor texture by texture to white to see some changes you see have to put the same goes with black you have to put likeness in in one negative and but that is is the the thing that makes disappear the texture so you see here it's already done and sometimes it doesn't work sometimes yes it works so clean but that's some tips that i want to share i experiment with the time so i will open again to to revert the change you can you have the the undo and redo if you do something wrong so open and save and open the skill again so we have in blue again i reset i did a reset so for other colors it works so well so let's do this again like more yeah orange and again just in case put the thing again you will see that it will recolor all the thing with the hue set it will recolor the wall uh, skill the textures everything but with hue adjustment maybe it doesn't recolor everything like the texture so you have to play with the two parameters so so you have everything now we save and once you save you simple open again with window the skill and replace the, the folder so you have when you install it again it will be orange another option to this because sometimes if you install a skill while the game is open you don't see changes so if you put a skill this is a super attack this is the ultimate and this is the transformations so you go to super attacks the modification date and i have a key mb that is kamehameha blue that i install and if you see you install the the skill it will be this i put g it will be o from orange but i put g because i don't know <laughs> so you see the skill modify this is a new skill but if you want to edit the kamehameha blue because i did a copy so it's like another skill so i have to reset the game but if you want to to edit a skill that is installed you have to go to the skill and edit the effects here so i can go here open the the apk and uh, save us here simple like tips to 
to do the things more faster. So we have the skill, I have to reset the game and we will see the changes. Okay, so we enter to the match and you see that the, the Kamehameha is changed to orange and we do it and we see that some things are blue still some textures are blue and that's the another thing you see the explosion is still blue you have two options to for that the first is to remove the, the explosion <clears throat> and the other is to change the ID of the explosion to take from another skill explosion and like put for example here a orange explosion I prefer the first one because it's more simple so you have to go to player shoot BDM player shoot is where this controls the, the, the BDM, the, the hitbox of the BSA so the projectiles so here you have effects and it's using an effect from global and this is the, the thing, this is the, the blue effect that you can change if you see in another player shot you find and an the effect you have to change it by, by the here so here you have to take this number and put in all the tabs like this like this changing in all the tabs of all the of the, all the entries yes this is this is this is a time consuming thing so tedious but it's how you remove the or change the the effect that blue effect that we don't want but it's something that you need to do so after you did all the changes you save in your skill again we set the match and you will see the results so let's see if, if with that works as you see there is not there is no blue explosion in the skill you can see if I charge it there is something blue but that is because I that's because I didn't do it in in all the entries. If you see, I didn't do in in all the, the BDM entries. So if I charge it, you can still see the explosion. But the good one is this: if you if you do in everything, it will disappear in every hitbox of the of the skill okay so that's all I don't know why the game is it's low in FPS I have that sensation so this is all for recoloring you can do this for any moveset any any um, skill so nothing more see you in the next tutorial that will be how to merge movesets and merge uh, skills so change the transformation change the moveset in a transformation so see you in the next tutorial